Hello, it's Friday night and I'm home alone and it's getting towards the evening so I figured I would do this before the light is gone. Um, if any of you have watched any videos I've posted, you'll know that I am really super into my fitness planners. I think it's a great way to keep track of what you're eating and it just holds me a little bit more accountable than like a phone app because then I'm, I have to write it down, I decorate it, I make it look nice. Um, but as you know, I can never stick with anything. I constantly change what I want to do, um, the type of journal I use. So I went back to using a traveler's notebook so at least I can switch things out easily and change things up. Oops, sorry. Okay, so these are my three sheep sparrows. This is my personal planner that holds my Hobonichi Weeks. I use this for like my whole life, work, personal appointments. She doesn't leave the house. I did roll it. I, I think it looks great. Um, but she doesn't go anywhere. Then Sorry for my table. This is where the kids paint. This one is my Waypoint in Rustic Brown. It's an A6 size. I know I showed the day I got it, but I never did a setup video on it. And this is what I'm using right now for my fitness planner. So I figured I would just do a setup. Okay, uh, one, these one, two, three I made with just scraps of ribbon and lace. Uh, I got this in a kit last year. It was paper. I mod podged it so it would not rip. And then this is my old peonies papery um, leather ribbon. Uh, I got an S charm from shop on Etsy. And here's my coffee mug. Now the one bad thing about waypoint leather, it's, it's amazing. It feels so good. Um, it smells really good. I think it looks really nice, like rustic and yet yeah, also like somehow feminine too. I don't know. I like it. But it pulls in because it's so floppy. I've tried everything. Now when I bought my, I bought an insert from 1407 Planners for food tracking. And I thought I was going to have it in my personal size and that I was just going to use this. This is an A6. And in the beginning, I was just going to use this for my Stalogy A6. But I thought, this is kind of stupid. I should have my food and my fitness in one book. So instead of wasting what I had bought, I cut it down. And I ended up so that it would pull less. Believe it or not, these sides used to pull more because <clears throat> this was a little longer. I cut off. Sunday because it's um, traditionally my cheat day anyway where I try really hard not to worry about any any food related things but I try not to pick out but I don't track it give myself one full day off so in here I just have a couple of heart paper clips in case I need to use them in there and a ribbon and just some acetate back here and like this waypoint has this awesome pull up like you could just play with this thing for forever. It is the it is my favorite leather. I love this so much. So I got a couple of dashboards from Chic Sparrow at the same time. Um, this pen clip I've had, I stuck a mild liner in it so I can use it in the fitness journal to um, highlight anything I need. So I've got this, um, and then I just put two together, and they're all kind of gym related and then like I said this is my food journal I added some color I added a couple stickers but really not too much decorating I'm using this little clip to mark my day um, so it's pretty plain it just breakfast snack lunch dinner snack exercise and the hydrate I, I like this so far it's been plenty of room um, let's see the back of that dashboard quadzilla made me laugh um, this I had in my old like junk journal thing I put in here. Uh, the back of that. This is my Stalogy. It 
I didn't want to have to put it onto the bands because I, I've heard it damages the book. So I was going to make it a little folder cover that it's just tucked into. So the front, the orange and color is uh, some artwork that my daughter did for me. And I just added a couple stickers, a quote for fitness, and then I mod podged the whole thing. Then it just tucks right in there. Now, this is like a knockoff of the Hobonichi daily. So there's one page for each day. So I'm using that to write down any fitness things I did. Sometimes I write more, sometimes not very much, but it gives me some space to decorate and enough space that if I go to the gym, I which I, I haven't really, only one day, um, I can write down the sets and the weight that I used for each exercise. So I'm just dedicating one day per page. And the paper is just so awesome. It's kind of keeping me from getting bored. Uh, I accidentally had some pages stuck together, so I just put some stickers on them. I'll probably add some washi tape or something. Uh, let's see. So that's, that's pretty much that. And then the back... I also added, put this in here so it would pull less too. That seemed to be helping. Um, oops. And then I keep one of my fountain pens in the pen loop. And that is pretty much it for this one. I'm hoping, like always, I'm hoping that I can stick with it for a while. I still have like 20 pounds that I want to lose. I am going to do a monthly page in here like at the end of each month and do measurements and uh, a photo because I, I, that's the one thing I liked about the happy planner the fitness version they had was you could do that so that is my a6 waypoint in rustic brown how I set it up as a fitness planner and then just yesterday I, I posted a video I just got this I posted the unboxing and now I have it set up this is a pocket. It was a second chance from Sheik Sparrow. All I asked is that they not give me a black leather and that I would prefer something in green since I have the dark brown and I have the buttered rum. When I first started liking these notebooks, I could not decide. Oh, ant. I couldn't decide between the Waypoint and the Mr. Darcy. So I got one of each. So those were my two like love leathers. Like I just really wanted those two. So I, I, I really like the way the green ones looked, and I just asked them. I put it in my notes, um, and they're amazing. They, are, they really go out of their way to get you what you want. I honestly don't know why this was Second Chance. I watched a video about the Hemingway collection, and they were saying that they started using a different method for the inking, or whatever it is. Uh, maybe I got an older version because it's not very uniform, but like that's my preference. I think this way looks much better than the uniform like curve that I see on a lot of them in the back. It gets just kind of splotchy and goes a little bit further. I I think that's way better. Like I'd rather have something with a little bit of character. Anyway, I put my Harry Potter um, charm on it. I'm gonna keep this one like super minimal because I'm going to make it um, as my wallet and my everyday carry go everywhere with me planner. That's also why I got a second chance and because that way I, c I can toss it in my purse or my dance bag or whatever and I don't care if it gets dinged up. I don't care how it ends up looking. The, the more dinged up the better. I just have one clip in it that's um, a lacy ribbon and I have my Energel liquid gel ink because that's actually like my favorite pen but I wanted to try fountain pens and also this pen does not dry very well in the Hobonichi stuff I don't know just smears and I'm left-handed so that like makes it even worse um okay I've got this set up with my wallet so there's my ID a couple clips this was in the the field notes and I just thought it was cute so I put it in I know it's only August, but I'm freaking desperate for summer to be over. I hate it. So I set mine up for autumn. So I've got this side and this side. 
I'm going to use this. I specifically got a pocket that I could use as my wallet for the gym. Like that was my original idea because we go and I don't want to take a big chunky book or any hugely decorated thing, but I have a hard time remembering like how many sets I did, what was my weight, and I want to track my progress as I keep going to the gym. And I was trying to put it in my phone notes and I'm just I'm just more of a pen and paper type of girl. So I thought this would be it's small and I could just take it with me to each machine and then when I'm done write down like what I did. So that is what I'm going to use that booklet for. Here's the back of that dashboard. I put my Sheik Sparrow squirrel in here. He's so cute. Um, well actually, here's the back. And then my next one. And then this book is going to be for lists, um, to-do lists, whatever, when I'm on the go and I just have a quick, like, whatever to jot down. That is what I'm going to use this for. And there's the back of that last dashboard and then this one I'm going to use for notes. I'm the PTA president for our school so I do need a notebook that I can take with me and have accessible at all times to know what happened um, and then also just for anything else things for work things just I think of randomly kind of like a brain dump so I've got that and then just the rest of the cards that I use back here because I don't I haven't gotten a wallet insert yet I only decided to do this as a wallet after it came um, and again like I just don't see like there's like one little piece of thread that hangs out there there's just nothing wrong with this I don't think it should be in the second chance I'm super thankful it was because on I did that straight out of the box I gouged it um, but like I said, I don't care if this one gets all dinged up, it's fine. I'm not going to roll it. I think I'm just going to let time do its business with it. I did kind of like, I've been trying to hold it a lot and squish it so maybe it'll break in faster because at first it was just popping open. It wouldn't wrap around if it didn't have the elastic. So it is already just after a day getting better. Anyway, so that is how I have my three little sparrows. They're just the best traveler's notebooks I've ever used. Um, much better, in my opinion, than Foxy Fix or anything else I've tried. Um, that's it. And hopefully I'll be back with an update on my fitness planner each month on how that's going. All right. Bye. Have a good weekend.